Hi, I'm Larry Mac Reynolds, and this is my Gum Out Playoff Preview. I'm going to talk about the playoffs coming up, and I'll even answer a couple of questions from some of the fans. It's hard to believe the regular season is over, and now we have these 10 playoff races to go. It's 16 drivers, 10 races at 10 different tracks. But first, let's talk about some of the off-track news, and there has certainly been plenty over the last couple of months. Look at Casey Kane, Kurt Busch, Matt Kenseth. All three are in the playoffs. They have no idea what they're going to be doing in 2018. And a lot going on over at Hendrick Motorsports. William Byron's going to replace Casey Kane in that five car, and Alex Bowman will drive the 88 car since Dale Earnhardt Jr. is retiring. We know Eric Jones is moving over to Joe Gibbs Racing into the 20 car for Matt Kenseth. And just recently, over the last few days, it's been announced Eric Almirola will not be in the 43 car next year. And the bigger news, Danica Patrick not returning to Stuart Haas Racing in 2018. So I'm going to answer a question regarding something that's going on right there. And Lauren Evans, she says, oh my gosh. Is Danica Patrick going to be out of NASCAR? Now, Lauren, she didn't say she's leaving NASCAR. She just said she will not return to Stuart Haas Racing next year. I hope she's still here. I think she's great for the sport. I know the success has not been there, but you have to believe there's a sponsor and a team that would be very interested in Danica Patrick. When I look at these 16 playoff drivers and teams, it's a very diverse group. Nine different organizations. We have four Toyotas, five Fords, and seven Chevrolet drivers. The big story also is who's not in the playoffs this year. Joey Logano, that encumbered win at Richmond. Clint Boyer at Stuart Haas Racing. Eric Jones, he's been fast every single week over the last couple of months. And yes, Dale Earnhardt Jr., his final season in the Cup Series, he will not be a part of the playoff picture. But you know what? They can still go out and win some races. Now, round one, and remember, it's four rounds in the playoffs. In each round, is three races, and round four is the one race at home, Mount, Homestead Miami Speedway. Round one is kind of a diverse set of racetracks. We go to the one mile, one and a half mile track at Chicago Land Speedway, then we go to the flat one mile in Loudon, New Hampshire, and then the high bank concrete one mile up at Dover. And after round one, just like round two and three, we eliminate four of the drivers. Now, all of these 16 teams, they reset to 2,000 points for round one, plus their playoff points. And you carry the playoff points all the way through your playoffs, plus you can accumulate more throughout each race in the playoffs. And you think about this, here's the way it worked in the regular season, the same way it will work in the playoffs. If you win a stage, you get one more playoff point. If you win the race, it's five playoff points. So playoff points, they're still gonna be important all the way up through the end of round number three. Martin Trex Jr. and that 78 team, they're fast every week. They actually won the regular season points, and for that, he actually got 15 playoff points. He's going to start with 53 playoff points because along with the four wins, he also won 18 stages. And of his four wins, three of them already this year, they've been at mile and a half tracks. Remember this, we have five mile and a half tracks in the playoffs. Kyle Larson, another driver I think we're going to be talking about throughout the next couple of months. Uh, four wins as well in 2017. And at mile and a half tracks, and we've had six of them so far this year, he maybe didn't win, but he has four second place finishes at those type of tracks. And think about this. Earlier in the year, he finished second at Dover. He finished second at Loudoun. He finished second at Phoenix. And if you want to go back to the race at Homestead at the end of last year, he finished second there too. So I think he's going to be pretty tough in these playoffs as well. You know, halfway through 2017, Joe Gibbs Racing was winless, but they've come to life lately. Our last eight races, four wins, two by Kyle Busch and two by Denny Hamlin. How about 07 time, Jimmy Johnson? It's almost exactly where they were at this point last year when we thought they just absolutely had fallen off the map. Go back to that win at Dover in the spring. The 13 races since then, he has not even had a top five finish. In fact, 
three wins this year. That's his only top five finishes of the entire season. But you know what? They made a believer out of me one year ago when they went on to Homestead and won that championship. I can almost promise you, though, there's somebody laying in the weeds, somebody below the radar that we're not even talking about being a championship contender that will be there at the end. Think back to 2014. I'm not sure we thought Kevin Harvick could win the championship. A couple of years ago, Kyle Busch, he missed a third of the races with injuries, and he went on to, to hoist the trophy in South Florida. And then last year, we talked about him. Jimmy Johnson, absolutely terrible at this point in the year, but he did get that seventh championship. Here's another interesting nugget. Ten of these 16 drivers are trying to win their very first cup championship. Now, I know you want to know my picks, and I'm going to give you my picks for the championship four. I think it's going to be Denny Hamlin, his teammate Kyle Busch, the other Kyle, Kyle Larson, and Martin Trex Jr. So who do I think is going to win the championship? Well, we got a lot of racing until we get to Homestead, but I think it's going to be a tight battle. But I think Martin Trex Jr., with a very ton of heat from Kyle Larson, I think Truex will get this championship. But I also believe this, just like the last three years, if you're going to win this championship, you're going to have to go down there and you're going to win that race. I'm going to take one more question, and this is a great question. Danny Scholl, should a win be taken away from a driver that wins the race if his car is found to be illegal in post-race? This has been a big story here in 2017. And, and Danny, you know, I, I kind of go back and forth on this. I kind of stand in NASCAR's corner that we want the fans to know who truly won the race before they leave the racetrack. But I think this is something that NASCAR has to look at with as much as on the line today and as much as the reward is for winning. I do believe this, if it's an L1 penalty like we've seen many times and they suspend the crew chief, I think they need to suspend the driver for the same number of races. I think that will get their attention. Well, I've given you a lot of information. Hope you enjoy the playoffs, and we'll see you next time.